Coming up on this week's JBCN Headline News, Minnesota Senate assesses marijuana bill. Then, updates on the doomsday clock. But first, sports. Stay tuned and informed. I'm TJ Ringer. And I'm Taryn Gatchel. And welcome or welcome back. Minnesota Senator Lindsey Port's Senate file number 73 aims to create a regulated marijuana industry in the state. It will also clear the conviction records of those with low-level marijuana offenses. As of Thursday, the legislation has been passed to the Commerce and Consumer Protection Committee. Senator Port's intentions with the bill is to create a safe environment for people to buy cannabis. Now we go to Colin Cairo with this week's sports debt headline. Hi, I'm Colin Cairo and welcome to this week's sports headline. The stage is set for the AFC and NFC Championship this weekend. On the AFC side, Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes will go head-to-head -head this Sunday as the Cincinnati Bengals take on the Kansas City Chiefs at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. On the NFC side, Brock Purdy and the San Francisco 49ers will take on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. Winners of both games will compete in Super Bowl 57. The Minnesota Timberwolves won their game against the New Orleans Pelicans 111-102. Timberwolves guard Anthony Edwards led the Wolves in scoring with 37 points and added 6 rebounds. The Timberwolves will host the Memphis Grizzlies and the Sam Sacramento Kings this weekend. The Minnesota Wild fell to the Tampa Bay Lightning in their last game. They were outscored 4-2. The Wild will look to bounce back as they host the Toronto Maple Leafs. The Minnesota Vikings fired defensive coordinator Ed Donatel after their season-ending loss to the New York Giants. The Vikings will begin interviewing candidates to fill a defensive coordinator position. That's all for this week's sports headline. Don't forget to tune in next week for all your sports news. Thank you. On January 24th, the Science and Security Board Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists unveiled the new setting of the Doomsday Clock. The clock is currently sitting at 90 seconds to midnight. This is the closest we've ever been to midnight. The board had this to say on moving the hands forward. Quote, this year, the Science and Security Board of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists moves the hands of the doomsday clock forward, largely, though not exclusively, because of the mounting dangers of the war in Ukraine. They went on to say, And worst of all, Russia's thinly veiled threats to use nuclear weapons remind the world that escalation of the conflict, by accident, intention, or miscalculation, is a terrible risk. The possibility that the conflict could spin out of anyone's control remains high. End quote. That's it for this week. Be sure to tune in next time.